As I walked up to this contraption here today, I told Craig, I said, this thing reminds me of a wiener dog. It's long and it's low. Both of them? Yeah, those brackets right there, Craig, that you got in your hand, they hold the 16 gallon water tank. Both of them. Both of them. No, no. No, you just need No, one just the big one. You need the other bracket that that sets on, the other two. Yeah, they two, in here. Yeah, there's two little uh, tubes. tubes that bolt on to those holes right there. And then that 16 gallon water tank sets on that platform. This is a uh, meat chicken tractor designed to raise up pullets or chickens for meat production, Cornish Cross or uh, Red Rangers. It has, if you'll notice, one wheel here, and you go way on down over here, and it's got another wheel. So, it has four wheels, so you can actually lift it totally off the ground. You don't have to pick it up with this handle on this end. Now, if you got a little water in that other end, this end is going to be a little lighter. And you'll be able to lift up on it. And like at the ends, you can skid it a little bit, work it back and forth to get it moved over and turned. But uh, it will have a tarp that goes full length. Water tank on the back, it'll have two Balmatic waters hanging on it, and six aluminum feed trays that come down each side. So you can put 150 broilers in here, or about 80 turkeys, and if you're living in one of them areas where you have pretty level pastures, 9 by 24, that's... Uh, pretty close to 250 square feet I guess it just lacks 24 feet of being that so 226 square feet so actually it could hold more than 150 birds pretty easy probably as long as you moved it two or three times a day you know the last week or two of a Cornish's life if you don't move him three times a day he gets a little bit stinky you just set your chain there and get that up off the ground a little bit so you can move it it's got the you got the angle braces in and the roost bars in case some of them want to roost we don't have the ridge pole in yet it's all laying on the ground and the ridge pole braces it's going to support the tarp but we're getting ready to finish this up this morning because we are at the Ozark Homesteading Expo. This is the pavilion where Joel Salton will be speaking. This is where you can meet and greet the speakers. Joel's got a lot of books over there for sale. And we are excited to be here. It's Saturday morning, about 6 a.m. And look at all those vendors. It is going to be the biggest Ozark Homesteading Expo that we have ever had, I do believe. And we've got some more chicken tractors over here in the grass. All our little ones are 4x6, our 5x10. And got the good coffee people here, the Shepherd's Hook, with their majestic feed. And there is the natural grandma banner that so many are starting to recognize so anyways come and see us eight o'clock opens up here in a couple hours and goes till six tonight and anything you want to know from how to butcher a pig to, to uh, bees and all kinds of vendors will be here. Ozark Homesteading Expo 2023.
Marshfield, Missouri at the Webster County Fairgrounds. We wish you were having this good a day. Natural Grandma.